Hello and welcome to So Bricks. I'm Adam and this is So Bricks. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets, putting Lego sets together, and just other Lego related content. In this video, we're going to take a look at the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Exotic Parrot, set number 31136. I've already done a video of giving my review of the main model here, so what I'm going to do in this video is deconstruct this main model, put together this alternate build, and then give my review on that. While I deconstruct uh, the parrot and while I build this fish display or this this fish alternate build I will speed the video up and then I will slow it back down to give my thoughts and my review of the finished model so until then enjoy Okay, so that is the first alternate build for this exotic parrot set. Uh, this was pretty good. It was pretty straightforward. Some kind of interesting stuff here, some good part usage. And this one also has a stand like the parrot does, which I think is, is really great to have as a, a display thing. So first thing we can take a look at is the fish. I will take it off of the stand here uh, 
to do that. And the fish is uh, built pretty nicely, I think. Um, it's pretty solid. It could be played with. I think the tail is a really good use of parts. These fins are so-so. I think they're a little uninspired, but it's, it's maybe limited with the um, available pieces here. The colors work really nice, and the shaping is pretty good. I like the eyes and the eye placement and sort of how the uh, official uh, picture had you know the the white of the eye kind of towards the the back and I think that really evokes like a fish for whatever reason I, I don't know why but that just seemed right and that's really good uh, and the internals of this are are pretty great you start kind of building it um, one way and then you flip it around to kind of build out the sides and you know the front and the b back here and I always like when I'm building in like one direction and then I change it around and you build in another direction and another direction that always keeps the builds kind of interesting for me and, and fun uh, and uh, so this was this was pretty good. It, it's pretty basic, but I think it uses the, the pieces well, and I think it looks nice. And this one, more than the parrot, could potentially be um, played with uh, besides just being displayed. The parrot has is just bigger uh, and uh, not as sturdy as certain points, so it would be harder for, for example, a child or a younger person to, to grip and to to move around and play with without like damaging it or anything so this feels better for that instead of just being a display and then we have kind of this terrain this utter underwater foliage uh and the stand and kind of like the parrot i mean in this picture you can see the stand pretty clearly but when looking at it from certain angles this covers up the the uh, technic kind of element here that would hold the fish together and so that's really good uh, and it uses the pieces fine I, I think you know these two semicircles look a little unnatural to me because of just the sharp edge which is kind of something you might not see much in nature but I thought this is really good I love the fact that this these brown elements that are often used for like stems in the plants and stuff like that actually fit between four studs I didn't know that for the longest time I love these leaf elements in this color I'm glad they're in this set and they work well here for a kind of underwater under the sea um, scene and that's really good and if we attach the fish uh, it does have a little bit of of play here a little movement it's on uh, the way it's connected is just with these clips on this bar that's connected to this technic piece and so uh, because of the clips on that bar we can swivel this up and down and it stays I mean there's enough friction to kind of have some play with the the pose here so we can go all the way back we can go all the way forward, obviously, but it can pretty easily stay kind of in the middle, which I think is really, really good and surprising to me. Um, and so there's, you know, there's a little bit of play there, not like as a play function, but I just mean play as in there's there's a range of motion in which it can be um, displayed, and I think that's nice. So. I, I think this is a good model. Uh, I, I like the parrot more, um, but uh, it's good. We can see all the, you know, extra pieces that are not in uh, this fish display uh, in this fish alternate build, which is interesting. One of the things I said about the main parrot build is that those flowers around the stand could use pieces that would then be used in the alternate builds. And... In this one and it doesn't look like in the next one either I was probably wrong about that and that those were decorative elements that worked really well to hide the stand on the parrot but may not be used in these alternate builds and that's okay too I, I guess maybe I would have liked to incorporate some of these slopes of different colors into this scene maybe do an, another floral element with one of these 
uh, pieces, but um, you know, it's it's all right for what it is. It's it's simple. It's uh, it it can look okay. And there's I like that there's depth to it as well. Um, there is something about you know this being so far in front of the fish that adds like a whole other uh, element to it, which I really like. Um, it's not often that like a scene like this, I feel like it conveys depth that well. So this distance, this, I don't know, six or however many studs from the fish to this foliage, I think is, a, is, is really nice. So this was good. So I'm pretty happy with this. Like I say, I still like the parrot a little better, but, uh, it's hard to be too mad about this. Just a, a simple, nice fish display so if someone was into like other underwater things if you were doing the sunken treasure mission and doing the there's a creator three in one that's like deep sea creatures with a shark and a this and a that and if you were doing those and had the fish tank creator three in one i think you know potentially this could be a part of a greater underwater thing and for that i think it's it's really really nice uh, so i like this uh, just not as much as the parrot. If you liked this video, consider giving it a like. And if you like the content on my channel, consider subscribing to it so you can stay up to date on all the Lego builds and Lego reviews I'll be doing in the future, including in the next video where I will be taking this apart, putting together this last alternate model of this frog, and then reviewing that frog. So subscribe so you can uh, get notified when that goes online. And until then, thanks. Bye.